Well, all right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's edition of our weekly uh, Contributor Circus, aka Contributor Experience. Um, my name is Paris. I will be your host today along with Nikita. We're going to be co-hosting because we've got a special edition uh, of this circus for you today. Again, meeting, I mean. <laughs> trying, trying to be funny. Anyway, um, first order of business, we do have a code of conduct. Uh, this is a different kind of meeting, so make sure that uh, if we are talking above each other, try to either raise hands or uh, say something in the chat. Uh, just because there is going to be a lot of back and forth. Um, I do not see any new contributors on the line right now, so we're going to go ahead and skip uh, new contributor introductions. Uh, and then let's go on to our regular program updates really quickly. Uh, George, why don't you take both office hours and community meeting in one shot? So office hours is set. We had our first session this morning. I kind of changed the YouTube workflow a little bit so that the URLs are unique so we can do them ahead of time instead of, instead of telling people to just go to slash live, which is weird. Um, and so we're all set with that. Community meeting is all set for this week. Jonas is hosting. Next week, we have penciled in for the release team. So as far as I could tell, that all seems to be lining up perfectly unless anyone says otherwise. So I think next week we just hand it over for the retro. And all since right. no one's asking any questions, I'm assuming everyone's okay with that. So that's all I got. Questions, concerns, comments? Last call? All right. Thanks, George. Uh, next, uh, meet our contributors. I'm live updating as we speak. Uh, we're actually getting a steady stream of volunteers, which seems to be getting better, which is nice. Um, uh, the next one is April 3rd. 7.30 a.m. Pacific, as well as 1 p.m. Pacific, and we're mostly full for those, which is nice. Uh, and we will have a, uh, a code-based tour on the 1 o'clock, and I think we also might have one on the 7.30, uh, which is super cool as well, which will achieve a lot of the code-based tour goals that we have set in, uh, in the issue. Uh, which is nice. So that's my update for Meet Our Contributors and would love to see your shining faces, each one of you on an episode. That's it for me. Uh, and then um, also the need to know chairs tech leads email that's going to go out this week. Does anybody have any suggestions on things that need to uh, go there? I'm going to put the Contributor Summit face to face again. Uh, until we run out of space. Um, for anyone the, else? For the Contributor Summit, oh. I have a link explicitly for the chairs and TLs to use to reg that will bypass the pending thing. OK, cool. All right, more info about reg in general. All right, uh, I'm also going to include Slack is open. Anything else, George? Can you ask any of them that are having any kind of calendar problems to just sort of file an issue in K community? I just want to make sure that like, because I, I did see some SIG struggling with it and I was like, man, I wish it would centrally report them so we can kind of like try to figure this out. We need to do an audit too, um, which is a little bit of a pain, but I think Arnold actually started one um, I'm not sure how far I need to go. I, get, I need to go look back, but according to the shared calendar, it looks like, um, I don't know, about half of the SIGs have shared calendars and are doing it correctly, and then the other half don't. So we just need to get them on board with, uh, with the other half uh, or create their calendars for them, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, if you, if you want to add calendars at the end, yeah. I've got some stuff I got to talk about too. All right. Anybody else have anything that the chairs and tech leads absolutely have to know this week about the project? Anything about release? Cool. All right. And then um, next on our regular reoccurring business, uh, contributor summit updates. Jonas, go first. Yep. Uh, so the blog post just went live half an hour ago. Excellent work, Paris. Um, and you're getting that updated, uh, some, some formatting. Uh, will that also include today's date? So it will be um, 20th yep. instead of 14th? Yep. Cool. Awesome. 
Uh, registration is live for Barcelona, so uh, send this over to anyone that you know that would be interested in participating in the Contributor Summit. Uh, and that includes SIG face-to-face -face, uh, for existing contributors as well. Uh, tweets will go out tomorrow um, and I will be sending out to KDEV and discuss today. We still need volunteers um, for um, workshop assistance or TAs or whatever you want to call it. Uh, registration desk as well. Um, want to make sure that we have proper proper coverage there so not, not a single person gets stuck with the registration desk all day. Um, and then SIG face-to-face -face facilitation as well, uh, making sure that um, no SIGs are too loud or uh, SIGs know where to go, SIG members know where to go and at what time and so on. So that should be um, uh, pretty easy. So if you want to volunteer, if you know you're going and you want to volunteer and you haven't been involved uh, so far, uh, please let me know. Yay. Thanks, Jonas, and go team. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! All right. Uh, Shanghai. Josh, you want to give a quick update? Yeah. Um, so we have our team, um, and we've been looking at putting some stuff together. Rui is working on doing social media, uh, sort of a social media blitz for this so that people know about it. Um, which we should be doing within the next two weeks. Um, the um, and and so this means for a while, um, for both summits, we're going to need to be careful to in the first line of anything that we post about them to say where they are so that people don't get mixed up between the two summits. Um, the um, but with the two KubeCons being so close together, we can't wait until um, Barcelona is is in the can um, to start advertising Shanghai or no one will show up. Um, the um, um, And the other next step is to actually put up registration for Shanghai Contributor Summit. Um, the um, So we're pulling that together to do kind of all at once. Um, the other thing that we're actually doing is um, this Friday, a bunch of us who worked on the new contributor workshop um, for multiple events are going to get together, go over the survey results um, from the two workshops where we took surveys, which is Shanghai and Seattle, um, and see if those results suggest specific changes in the NCW content. Um, particularly, um, what I'm looking to get out of this is to actually figure out which things should be in the new contributor room and which things should be in the not new contributor room. Um, uh, for content. All right. Sorry about that long pause. I was taking some notes. All right. Thank you, Josh and Go Shanghai team. All right, San Diego. I don't have much. Luckily, we're in November. I did um, uh, set an issue for the team building, and uh, I do not have the link in there. So if anybody can pop the link, you would be amazing. Um, and that's really it for San Diego until I, I'd say we, our next major update will probably be in, I'd say, two to three weeks. So um, nothing there. So on to our awesome project board exercise. Uh, we have over 160 issues within the Kubernetes community repository. Uh, and these are not milestoned or anything like that. I just, before I logged on, I checked the K community repo and there's so many in there that still don't have any milestones whatsoever. So if anybody here has cycles today or tomorrow through the rest of this week that can help us with issue triage, we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, Nikita and I are working on hopefully trying to build that issue triage team uh, within the next couple of weeks. And again, if anybody wants to, wants to help us, that would be totally awesome. Um, before we get started, and I am going to share my screen, uh, does anybody have any questions about any of the labels or any of the, or anything that Nikita mentioned in the email? Uh, also, if you don't necessarily want to ask the question publicly, you can always feel free to privately DM me and I'll ask it on behalf. For instance, I'll let you know, I was a little confused about milestones when Nikita and I discussed uh, like how we, how we were going to uh, attack this. So uh, just wanted to at least throw my, throw my confusion out there in case anybody else is confused as well. 
uh, ask now or forever hold your peace. Otherwise, we're going to get to it. Um, I, maybe Nikita, why don't you drive the car as far as sharing your screen, and then I'm going to come. I'll come behind you and start documenting and stuff like that. Cool. So, um, yeah, yeah. I will share my screen. Okay. And then if anybody else, like I said, on the call right now can help us, we're going to try to do sort of a, a live triage uh, slash uh, update session right now. And it's going to be a lot of things flying around, uh, including comments and stuff. So if anybody wants to jump in and help us, that would be much obliged. All right, Nikita, take it. Okay. Um, so first, before like going through the project board, I wanted to just look or just skim through the issues in the milestone that everyone's already added. Um, so my first question would be, is anyone blocked on anything that they've already added in the milestone or they have questions about issues here? Okay, I'll take that as a no. Um, and the second thing I was wondering if we could just like go through issues that don't have anyone assigned and um, and don't have the help wanted label and just discuss if like someone wants to work on it or if we should be adding the help wanted label to just make it actionable. Does that sound good? Okay. Uh, so first is YouTube meet or contributor updates. Do you need someone to work on it, Paris, or do you want like the help wanted label or? Uh, I could definitely do um, a help wanted label on this for sure. Okay, so adding that. Um, next up is a community meeting invite workflow needs to be revised. Uh, does anyone know who can work on it or if we should add the help wanted label or one one second this feels like an old one this is about how people get uh the meeting or how they're supposed to know how to get the meeting invite because it used to be email both of us to get an invite yeah and this was uh, this video check group we can i think we could close this and if there's an issue we should open a new one because this has so so how do I get the meeting invite today? You don't. You follow the instructions on the on the list on the community meeting page. We haven't we haven't sent invites to individuals. I mean, you've been around forever, so you have one. But um, the current instructions are here. Um so so this should mostly be closed now? Yeah, I think so. But okay, if, there, uh, if there's workflow issues, so I think we should open another one though, because these are, this is like the old video chat group that we deleted like a year ago. Can we ping Tim before we close it to make sure he feels heard? Sure. Uh, Josh, can I add an issue or ping Tim? I'm gonna ping, issue? I'll ping him on okay. the issue right now. Keep going. Okay, okay. Um, next up is, I think these are mostly the new contributor workshop uh, the issues that Gwen created. Create a local build and test demo for contributor workshop. Um, does anyone know if we need help on this or is someone already working on it? Josh, do you know? I believe they're actively working on it. And I, I, th I think Dawn is actively working on it with her. I would go ahead and. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if I would assign her though. I don't know if she's asking for help here or saying that this is what she's going to do. It's something that, I mean, this is something that we actually need to do um, uh, for the upcoming ones, but I don't know that anybody's actually started work on it. I would say assign her and added help wanted label. Yeah. Assign Grin or yeah. assign okay. Should we lifecycle activate just when like when we have actually started work on it or like are we planning on working on it? I guess when we start work on it. Okay. Yeah, I think if we I think it makes sense so like as soon as you touch the work, that means it started. Like if you haven't touched it, then 
it would be like a next situation. Okay, um, moving on, pre-publish and assimilate materials for Barcelona Contributor Summit. Uh, does anyone know? Should I also assign Gwyn and yeah, then Adam Ponte? Yeah, okay. I would say anything about new contributor workshop for Barcelona, just put Gwyn and then potentially a help wanted label and then she can always remove it later. Hi, okay. sorry I'm late. I'm here. Hey, Hi. I just spoke on your behalf. I apologize. No, that's totally fine. I created those issues to track myself. And thank you, Nikita, for putting a milestone on them earlier today. Um, so is this good, like assigning you and adding the help wanted label? Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, so I will do the same for this later after the meeting so that we don't take up too much time. Um, the next is new trash labels and replace them with life cycle. I haven't, I added it here because I think like this, I, I haven't read, through, to be very honest, I haven't read through all of this yet. Um, but I think everyone's opinion will count here. So I just added it in the milestone. Um, but I don't know if release was like there was something being planned about it from the release team side or what's going on with this. But um, so I'm not going to assign anyone to this, but if everyone could have a look and just if you have opinions, comment on it, that would be great. Sorry. Or does anyone have anything to add for this issue? Um, I've been looking at it and sort of mulling it over. Um, I think, I think overall, it's a pretty good idea and we should definitely let Nico take lead on it because he's the one with the most recent experience. Um, okay. I, um, I just, the only worry I have is that I just, I, I'm, I'm always for less labels usually, like make a really good case for, I mean, a lot of those labels were retired for a reason, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Um, I just, just retraining people on how to use labels is yeah kind of an um, no. yeah I'll weigh in there okay perfect I personally would love to get Sadev's input on this as the originator of the triage labels I know he's unavailable for a little while may not be able to get to it until at least next week at the earliest um, so I feel like the milestone is appropriate but I'm not sure I, yeah, I think I we just helping. wait for him to chime in. Um, and if it can't be done by me, I mean, we could always remove the milestone in this case. I kind of uh, don't see us making that milestone, but obviously we can figure that out since this is our, our first go. Yeah. Do you, so should I be keeping the milestone yeah. or removing? Go ahead, yeah, no, go ahead and keep the milestone. Let's make some mistakes. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't think it's super urgent. Cool. Um, next, um, assign one, establish new GitHub team structure. So I added this here because I was already documenting something about teams and the team structure. Uh, I think there is a little bit more to this issue. Uh, but I think we could probably discuss and figure something out. So I've added it to the milestone. Um, I'm also happy to assign it to myself, but I think this needs more of a discussion and then figuring things out. Does anyone else have opinions on this issue? Okay. Um, next up is Zoom to, no, that's assigned. Uh, Contributor workflow etiquette doc. Bob, do you know some of this? Uh, that should be merged and taken care of soon. We had one outstanding question just sort of like, should we merge it with the current GitHub cheat sheet and put it under, see, Gwen? Um, we do have information on this in the docs. Um, there is there is a large chunk of uh, what to do if 
my PR doesn't get reviewed. It focuses on the contributor rather than on the reviewer. Um, there is also a section on code review that is a little bit more generic and boils down to, you know, be nice, be patient, uh, be kind. Um, so I would be fully in favor of updating that to the current status or maybe putting it in a more uh, obvious location, but I do know we have this. Okay. Yeah, there is a, a doc that uh, Edward and I had uh, worked on that is sort of just a sort of a very lightweight cheat sheet version of this. The intention is that it can then be translated, like it's easy for the docs team to translate so we can link to uh, other people um, mm -hmm. that where we might not be able to translate the full guide. Sure. Um, so that um, I'm not the, sure. The, I'm not so that it so that it would live on the on the on the website. Is that what you're saying? Uh, it would either live in the Devil Contributor Experience directory or in the. Uh, contributor guide directory. Right, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm, I, I, maybe I just have a little bit of, uh, ha have not enough context for this. Um, I, anyway, I think, I think it's great. Um, I just wanna make sure that we take what's there uh, under consideration and um, if necessary, revamp it, um, right? Combine the two because I, what I just wanna avoid is having two documents that cover similar things because that's where confusion happens. Yep. That makes sense, right? Yep. So I'll assign, Bob, I'll assign you and Edward to this or? Yeah, and I'll, I can sync with you on everything uh, later, Gwen. Yeah, totally. No, thank, thank you so much. I, um, what is there is old and could totally need a dust up. So I, this is great. Um, Bob, shall I assign you and Edward to this, or should this be assigned to someone else, or should I put a half pointed uh, label? Uh, go ahead, put it on me. The the PR is uh, pretty much out there. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I saw the PR. It was really it was really good work. Um, yeah, can discuss this later too. So I guess that covers everything for the current milestone. Um, so this is completely new for us, like doing all of this. So I was just thinking that we could go through the project, the individual project boards and see if there's something else that someone like do a small regular stand up, but not like go through each issue. Um, or else we could do something else to figure things out. Does anyone have suggestions or about how we should proceed for this? Okay, I will take that as go through all sub project project boards. Um, okay, so we have a lot of project boards right now. So I will go through the main Contrabex board in the end because right now it has issues which are more broad and umbrella issue types and uh, really old ones like audit owner files and things like that, which will it is, which is probably not actionable at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna go through the individual project boards and we'll see how much we can cover right now. Um, so first of the GitHub management project board. Um, so in progress right now I have, so this is uh, an awesome issue created by Bob. It's like the process talk for the sub project uh, website requests, um, which, will be, which is the current milestone. All of these are repo requests, so all of those are in progress. Um, these are documentation for GitHub Teams. Um, this, is, this just requires like a lazy consensus email to KDEV and then we can clean things up. Um, most of this is Perry Bolo's work. I have an open PR, but then I need to like uh, re address the reviews and update it. But does anyone have something that they'd like to discuss that's in the backlog? Or if you think that we should add something in the backlog to the current milestone? 
Uh, I don't have any specifics. I guess I was just gonna say that like, I have no time to dedicate to help ma managing or running this board. I will definitely be coming back to it uh, once I come out of the 114 release fog. So I wanna make sure that like, every issue that's on this board has an area GitHub management label on it. So I don't have to search for three different kinds of labels and three different kinds of repos to understand what other work is not accurately represented on this board. And I will work with you and the other GitHub admins to come up with like a consistent uh, prioritization to figure out what we believe is most important versus least important to work on first. Sounds good. And with that, I have to drop, but this looks good. Thank you for putting this together. Sure, bye. Um, yeah, so this is all for the GitHub Management Sub Project. It's small, it's tiny. Um, does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns about this? Okay, uh, next I'll go to the Community Management Sub so Project. Um, does, uh, let's just go through this block column. I think this is done, right, Paris? Yeah, yeah you closed that this morning. I don't know why it's coming mm -hmm. up in the blocked column. No problem. Um, create process doc for running public steering committee meetings. Um, do we want this in the current milestone? Um, yeah, no, I can, I can do that. I don't know why it's in the blocked column, though. Why is it in the block column? What did we no do idea. for what do we do for it to get there? Uh, are we like logged in steering or something? No, I literally just moved that onto this board. So that's why I'm curious as to why it went into the blocked column. Yeah, see, look, Nikita it was, added. Uh, it was blogged in contributor experience. I just put it in blocked here. Okay. Um, yeah, no, this, this one's not blocked. Um, this is, okay. I'm currently working on it. So we okay, can. So I will move it to the in progress column. Yeah. Um, Stock more duties for YouTube admins. Um, do you need anything here? No, or... PR is in flight. Okay. Um, we discussed about this in GitHub management, calendar, guidelines, creation. I think there's already a PR open for this. Yep, PR in flight. Um, auditing meetings and community calendar. Uh, do you need any help with the auditing or? Yes, definitely help with the audit for sure. Um, so I'll, I'll put a help okay. wanted label on it unless okay. somebody else on the line wants to do this. I've got questions about the calendar ownership in general, but I think that can wait till the open mic. Okay. I don't know if okay. I'm able to get to open mic today. Yeah, but it, like maybe if, I don't know if you want to talk about it now or do you want to talk? It yeah, it's just, like, it's just, our charter isn't really explicit about who owns the calendar and like how much of the responsibility is like a SIG's responsibility and how much is like I ours. Think, like who's I the subproject like, owner for the calendar? Um, I mean, there is no calendar essentially. We have one shared calendar that we own so I can charter that in. But like as far as individual calendar entries, that's chartered into SIG governance as SIG chairs are responsible for that. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it's clear for that because it's like my meetings are broken. Contrib X, what are you doing about it, Josh? Like, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think it's sure I think it's our responsibility to come up with a workflow that makes sense for everybody, um, including ownership. But the thing is, we can't own individual calendars. The way that I put yeah. it, uh, the way that I put the text into the calendar guidelines is like I feel like the tried by true method. Uh, but the problem with that is that you then give access to over five people to edit your calendar, which right. means like that's when calendars start disappearing. Um, because if somebody accidentally deletes the calendar thinking they're going to delete it from their personal and then they delete it from the whole thing, then the yeah. calendar disappears. Then you got to re-invite them and it's like 10,000 people. Yep. Yeah. So like, I feel like there's two options and none of them are that wonderful. Um, Unless, like I said, we have some kind of CMS or something where um, we would be able to give them like access to a calendar or something, but like that's TBD down the road. Um, yeah, I just feel like G Suite slash calendar could be like a sub project that's like someone with clear ownership is my 
main concern? I mean, <clears throat> I think G Suite falls into community management, so it would be a subproject of community management. Um, but yeah, I guess, you know, if, if Alex wants to take the lead on that, then that's cool. I mean, the only thing with, again, with the calendars, I just want people to realize that we don't own their individual entries and we're not necessarily secretaries here. Like, that's my concern at this point is we already are, in my opinion, secretaries yeah. in, a lot, in a lot of cases. And I feel like that's not a best use of our time. Um, but yeah, I feel like I feel like it is our responsibility to figure out a sane situation here. Well, it seems like um, this this seems like potentially a candidate for more more uh, GitOps based automation. I agree. Like, if somebody wants to figure out how to automate this, by all means, like take yeah, I just, it. I just want to make sure I mean, we're explicit about what exactly we're supporting and what we aren't, because I'm confused. Yeah. Like, like. Tim and Andy were like, hey, you do calendars, don't you? I was like, what? No. Is that, like, I don't know. Like, so yeah, you say no. No, no you I say you're be explicit about it. Then yeah. your, your explicit is no, you're responsible for your own calendar creation and maintenance of it. And we're here to help you. If you add us to the shared calendar, we can help you out with things like someone leaving their employer or whatever. Um, yeah. I think that's our role here. I mean, the problem is that, like, I would like to have an ex a Kubernetes org owned account for calendaring just because um, Red Hat has restrictions on calendar items. I hear you. So when I'm logged in at, to my Red Hat calendar, um, I can't, for example, invite groups not at Red Hat to calendar items. Um, and I don't think I'm the only one who has that restriction. Um, yeah, we are various we people. And there's a whole assortment of things like this. So, um, but I don't see a reasonable way to do it without having some kind of automation in front of it because it would end up with one of us needing to accept requests by email and that's just insane. Yep, exactly. And I feel like I see how much they, I mean, we, we all, I feel like our SIG meets every Wednesday for the most part, but I feel like half of our SIGs are so volatile with their meetings that we would just be just sitting here on our keyboards all day messing with their meetings. Um, so I don't, I don't know, there's, there's gotta be a better way. Uh, I feel like the best way, like I said, is showing and we just need to get everybody on the best way for that to be the best way. Um, but yeah, I'm very down with other people's thoughts on automation. Uh, like we do have the G Suite API at this point. So if folks have experience with that, by all means, um, let's work on something. Yeah, I just, my big concern is this, like we don't mention the word calendar at all in the, in the charter. So like- That's kind of good. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of yeah, good, like- it, I would it, prefer it to says, be explicit. Like we are in charge of the community calendar though, right? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a note to put out of, put it in out of scope. Yeah, like, I Whatever way we decide is fine. I just want to make sure that we have everything, that there's no, that there's no um, ambiguity, ambiguity on who is responsible yep. for what. I just want yep. to make sure. I'll say that we're responsible for the shared calendar only. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. All right. Sorry, Nikita. Go ahead. No problem. I think I, most of us are not blocked on too many issues, and it's kind of important to discuss the blocked ones, so that's okay. Um, but we're not blocked technically on anything here, are we? No, I mean, calendars. <laughs> right. So if you, Time zones. Uh, yeah, but, PST. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that audit is just for the community calendar, not the individual SIG calendars, right? Yeah, but that the individual SIG calendars are powering the community calendar. Right, right. So we have to audit to make sure that they're that they have like the right tag on their meeting ID. We have to make sure that they have a shared calendar. We have to make sure that we're on it um, for edit rights. So I, I see the audit as like three things essentially. Like, are we? Do we have capability to edit their meeting? Do they have a shared calendar? And okay. then, are they on the shared calendar? Okay. So I'll, we are I'm responsible gonna... for the SIG meetings. We aren't, we are only responsible for the shared calendar. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, I just want to make sure that there's like an implied task there or a non-implied task. 
Right. I feel like the, the implied task is that we should audit the shared calendar. Okay. That like we should add the, I'm also taking this as a note, add shared calendar yeah. audit to maintenance, community yeah. maintenance. The reason I'm being annoying is like, I want to be able to tell a SIG lead, you're responsible for these three things and I'm responsible for these three things. And then it's not, yep. you know, oh, George is going to fix our calendar or oh, is it my feel, job to fix my calendar? I feel, like that's very, I feel like that's very explicit now in the SIG working group okay. life cycle document. Okay. It's extremely explicit. It says you create your calendar, you do these things, you do that. Okay. Um, so I'm like I said, I'm going to put in our charter that the in scope is the shared calendar and the out of scope is the individual entries that power it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Add shared calendar. Sorry to be annoying. I don't I want to end up in the Zoom situation where it's like, SIGs, figure out your thing. And then six months later, we're wondering who's. It's better to get, like, just take <laughs> yep. care of it now. Yeah. I also, like, I also have a very hot take. Um, I feel like our, like after doing all of this community maintenance stuff with calendars, Zooms, all of the resources, I think when we have a Sager working group that bubbles up, I think we should do it all for them. Because... You mean the next one? The meaning, next, yeah. meaning like create their community meeting for them, create their shared calendar for them, create their Zoom for them, create everything and then hand off their passwords and some kind of secure method like signal. But then we know that their zoom was set up correctly. Their calendars are showing with the right permissions. I feel like we then know everything instead of us doing this where we're just constantly like beating people down with sticks with like, please get back to us. Yeah. That would fit. Um, that, would, that would save us time in the long run. Yeah, I think it would save us a lot of time. I think it would take us a lot of time. I think it's going to take us at least three hours to like set up a SIG at least. But at the same time, like I said, three hours versus six months on the Zoom audit is pretty substantial. I think when we're talking about the hours of, yeah, exactly three hours once. Yeah. So I'm actually going to file an issue right now. Hold on. Other note, file issue. Uh, discuss Contradact taking over SIG lifecycle. All right. Sorry about that. I mean, Nikita, now for real. Okay. Um, but so, but for real, like, this is not blocked or anything, right? No, I wouldn't. I would say no. Okay. Um, but for, like, before I go through all of these, is there anyone? Is there something that people would like to discuss that's on this project board? I was able okay. to close one of them. So we're already one. The mm -hmm. one of the working groups. Yeah, they are cut. They oh, yeah. these are list of read only. So we are one of however many we started with. We have one done. Cool. I'm, awesome. I'm going to the board now. I was toggling somewhere else, Nikita. So hold on one sec. I want to make sure that I'm responding. Um, hey, where is it? Hold on, Kubernetes projects. Okay, sorry, hold on. And the other thing I noticed is we can't change project board names. So I think we're stuck with this, or unless I can figure out a way to change you the name. Yeah, we should be able to. I feel like I have in the past. What we what we could do is we could delete the card and then add a new one, probably. Yeah. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure that out. So hold on, let me look. Um, I'm in in progress right now. Um, uh, um, moderators. This oh. one's such a tricky one. Like, uh, yeah, like the time zones issue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I but I think like there is a PR open and nothing is blocked, right? Yep, I, th I don't think anything's blocked. Yeah, um, G Suite process and no. guidelines. No, I think we're, I mean, I feel like we're sort of rolling. Uh, I mean, maybe we should put blocked for G Suite until CNCF gets back to us um, because that's kind of where we are. So yeah, no, I would say let's put G Suite in the blocked and I'll comment that we're blocked on CNCF. Okay. Um, um, the first 
Can you please comment on the action of from CNC required for G Suite? I yep. saw that the ball is on on the steering side. Yep. So like the the deal is we just want to get somebody from Google G Suite on the phone with us who's like a solutions architect or support person, like that's been assigned to our account and discuss the architecture of the account because we we reviewed it yesterday and we feel like uh, the account was set up uh, incorrectly and that uh, we want to make sure that we're using all of the functionalities and also talk a little bit more about automation stuff and things like that. So we just want to get somebody on the phone because like we pay for this service and people at Google won't talk to me because I'm not Linux Foundation and folks have ethics. So that's cool too. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, or maybe if you can put me on the account as someone that can talk about it and then Google can talk to me. Um, I just feel like we're sh kind of shooting ourselves in the own, our own foots because we have this as a service and we're not using it. So. Um, I just want to get somebody on the phone. Uh, I see. I, I'll follow up on that. Uh, probably we may request some assistance from uh, LFIT because at Linux Foundation we're using G Suite for our internal purposes. But yeah, yeah I, I will double check out. Yeah, the that, that, would, that, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Awesome. Right. Thanks, Igor. Um, yeah, moving on. Zoom to YouTube automation pipeline. Do we have, is this like in progress? Or which or, one is it? Uh, uh, Zoom to uh, YouTube. I feel like we could put this in the either, we could either put a help wanted on this or we could put a block, put it in the blocked column or put it in, um, I would put milestone next to, um, I just don't have the time unless somebody else wants to do, figure out how to do this. Um, Cause the, oh, what was the one service that you were in, investigating that we were playing with for a little bit? It was Splain, which it still works and we're still using it on certain SIGs. The problem is that, um, the problem is that like it failed on cluster lifecycle because they want their meetings posted right away. And unfortunately we don't have a YouTube team large enough for that. Um, I mean, we need like a team of pretty much 10 YouTube folks to get the, the service levels that some of our SIGs would need uh, in order to do that. Because Splain, um, I mean, we would still need some kind of trimming, even though Splain has definitely gotten better on the, if you press the record button, it starts there. Um, so like that functionality has been fixed, but there's still other quirks that like you need a human on the other end for, meaning like the, to assign it a playlist uh, and things like that, and then ultimately publish it. So um, like, I feel like the automation piece is smooth and awesome. Again, it's just the end piece that's not, and until we can get a YouTube, a YouTube team in place, actually, yeah, let's block it on the YouTube team. Um, we'll block it on the YouTube team, and until we get that in place, then we can come back to that, and then the YouTube team can figure out the automation needs Sweet delegation. Uh, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what about uh, the content strategy for the contributor side? That I'm about to go really hard on. Um, I'm done all the my analysis, so I just need to update it. Um, I need to talk to Megan about um, Megan Bruce with VMware. Uh, about the focus groups. I think she's also uh, lost touch just based on busy schedules, not being detrimental. Um, so we just need to get back on the horn with this. The major thing that we're missing, and I'm sure George can, um, can pipe up on this, I think is KEPS and, and Josh, I know you're on the line too. I think the entire intent for the KEP itself, or the KEP for the contributor site itself was KEPS period. Um, but KEPS seemed to be still in a, not great state of affairs as far as like displaying information is concerned. So I feel like for what we're doing right now for the content strategy is thinking of other things that we had put up in addition to that since the, the kept scene is still a little not wonderful. Um, Josh, do you want to talk a, a little bit, Josh or George, do you all want to talk about like what you think I missed there or any comments, questions, concerns about that? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I was just going to deal with content and until um, until there's a platform, I can't really do anything on content. Yeah, I think that, um, yeah, I think we just need to pretty much put a link to where people can find caps at this point um, instead of displaying them. Uh, do we have any updates from PM about that? Is that, I don't know if is any Eeyore, um any updates as far as you know, I see George shaking his head. Uh, I can I can I can ask Stephen what the TLDR. I like yeah. it's just the enhancements repo, right? Yep. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I, they, the problem is that right now, Keps and and I have not discussed this with Sig PM yet because mm -hmm. um, they haven't had a meeting since the time that I discussed this with Paris. Um, is Keps are not browsable. Like, like here's, an, here's a question that would be interesting to answer. Give me the five caps that had the most recent activity. Oh, I know we don't have that. That's you literally can't question. do it. Yeah. Um, the, um, so, um, you know, at some form, we need to look at moving caps to some format other than a file tree. And so doing something like saying, hey, we're going to have more intelligible display of caps on the contributor site requires us to enable more intelligible display of caps at all, um, which is currently not the case um, and needs to be led by, by SIGPM. As I understand it um, from previous conversations about this, SIGPM has really been interested in keeping stuff as simple as in plain text file as possible until um, the sort of cap format and workflow is stabilized, which makes sense, right? But it does mean that everything else has to kind of wait behind that. Sorry, I'm taking notes, and I think Nikita is too. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. So I feel like for this one, we'll just go ahead and keep it. I'm gonna milestone May it because I feel like for what the what the issue was set for, which was let's get uh, just an MVP of content that we want uh, ready to go lined up. Um, I think we can achieve this based off of um, based off of what I know now. So I will, I'll go ahead and milestone May this. Okay, perfect. One more issue added to the milestone. Um, George, do you know if this needs anything from anybody? Uh, I'm sorry, which one? Are we still talking? No, uh, no a working group applic application definition needs to be retired. Yeah, we're blocking on Antoine doing a report to Kubernetes dev. <laughs> okay. okay uh, but, I'm gonna yeah, move that baby to blocked. Lock it. Okay. But the, the work we, sorry, sorry, go, go on. The working group closing down process sounded good when I wrote it, but it's like too, it's like too verbose. We should be like optional. You can post it if you want, but if you don't post, we're still going to close the working group anyway, like not block on. Yeah. So that's my bad for that convoluted process. I don't know. I kind of think it's good. I mean, I kind of think that it like sets fire a little bit to like, maybe, maybe like we ask for that in the beginning in order to, for like the, anything to even like kick off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So in hindsight, the whole work group creation, pro like all these work groups that we've been closing are ones where everyone's like, you get a work group and everyone gets a work group. And like, no one fought it through. I think from now on the last few ones that we've created have like, like LTS took its time, like doing it right and all that stuff. Um, it's just these like old ones that, it's hard to get them to write a report when the work group hasn't met in a long time. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, and they've been effectively dead for so long. So I don't know. I, we could block or we could time gate him. I would time block it. Yeah. Time gate it. Like, yeah, you know, even. Good. All right. But um, I'll just add this in the block column for now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get, I'll get to it and chase after it and stuff. Um, Standardize of your streaming config. I know there's been some discussion going around this, uh, but is there something that we need to discuss in the meeting? Like, are, are, are you blocked on something? Or, okay. Uh, but this is like in progress, I guess, and this also has a milestone from, right. 
Uh, okay. Perfect. Uh, does anyone have anything to discuss from the backlog column? And then we can just go quickly to the other project boards. I'm looking okay. to make sure that these all have owners. Um, it looks like it, except for the community meeting invite workflow, but that's just, we'll wait for Tim to respond. Um, okay, yeah, no, I don't have anything. Okay, so we'll move to the next project board. Um, so mentoring. Taris, do you want to yep. talk? Yeah, talk a lot. Uh, I won't talk a lot because I want to run through this. So um, I uh, had set like three mega issues a few months ago, um, and I have since cut them down into smaller nuggets that are easily digestible and also slapped a lot of help wanted labels and even removed myself um, from the assignee in some cases just because I feel like other people uh, might and can do those things. And I've heard from a couple people that if they see my head on it, they don't touch it. So uh, I removed, I removed my head uh, in hopes that other folks will help. Um, but the stuff in progress is uh, mostly uh, like vanity edits. So uh, like meet our contributors for YouTube needs a thumbnail created. I created one, but it needs yet another one because information has changed. Um, and then like need to figure out some kind of transcription. I don't know if like we go with office hours. I don't know. I just, I guess we need to figure that out. Um, but that's like sort of an immediate need. Uh, and then also clip out some more good questions like we had for the code base tour um, and things like that. So that's someone else. And then um, documentation changes for meet our contributors uh, and the group mentoring automation and formation um, that's sort of the, okay, we've got people that said that they're interested in group mentoring for a certain thing and they're interested in a certain level. What now? Um, how can we automate that process so that they can self, they can self form, uh, and that they don't necessarily need us because what I was doing for the group mentoring is, is like hand picking people off of a list and then like forming them into a thing. Uh, and then setting up their resources. So like essentially how do we self-service this? Uh, and I'm hoping that I can wrangle Josh into this. I politely asked him the other day. <laughs> and by politely, I was like, you're doing this. <laughs> um, so uh, that's pretty much everything that's I feel like in progress uh, as far as meet our contributors and group mentoring is concerned. And then everything else is mostly backlogged. Um, actually, I'm going to take the code base tours and put them in, in progress. Um, and then I'm also going to do the how to for meet our contributors in progress as well. So that's it, though. Um, I think I'm actually missing some issues from the board. So I'm still triaging myself out of this hole. Um, but I also need to add kind labels as well, as you can see, I need to add kind um what else am i missing priority priority yep all right yeah so that's it for uh, me does anyone have questions comments or concerns about this okay uh do we want i know uh, there's like four and a half minutes left do we want to go over the other project boards or just do we just want to i don't know Oh, I feel like, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I was just going to say, do you want to like have like a three minute or four minute open mic discussion? Yeah, let's do it. Um, I don't feel like we never, we, I don't think we ever need to go through the contributor summit boards on this call. We can always just do, we can catch those updates um, during the regularly scheduled program stuff. Um, and I feel like just for my open mic topic for like 30 seconds, uh, I'd like to see us to a point where these sub project boards have their own meetings. Uh, and then we all collect here bi weekly uh, and we do um, like project sub project stand ups and open mic. So I don't know what everybody else's thoughts are on that, but I feel like now we're starting to 
kind of see more and more divisions of labor and who owns what with the project and stuff like that. So um, I don't know what everybody else thinks, but that's kind of what direction I think we should, we should go in. Anybody else have open mic stuff that they want to talk about? Sky is blue. The week's awesome. I'm sorry about the email and making you all do so much work. No, that was awesome. I was like, yeah. You did most of it. Yeah. She's been triaging like crazy. Y'all, like, I'm not going to lie to you. I have done more triaging this week than I have ever done in my life. And the thing is, Nikita did triple what I did. So I think we should all give Nikita a nice little round of applause. I think you should send more scary emails. That's yeah. like the only way. It was like a half hour and I was like, oh shit, I better, I better triage my stuff. Like I forget, yeah. like I was all sweating it. So yeah. that's, that's, I think that's good. I don't know. Um, just... I feel like we, we've, we've been inching closer and closer to this result. Like, I mean, we started like, Hey, we've got a project board. This is a thing. And now here we are, we're all grown up and we have like nine project boards and <laughs> Uh, we're all grown up, y'all. So let's learn together and figure this whole open source project management thing out together. Um, that's it. That's all I had for today. Anybody else? All right. Small group today. Hi, Edouard. Bye, Edouard. <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a bye nice bye. day. Have a good bye, one. Friends. Bye. 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 Later. Thanks, Nikita.